Para dashboard. Where it can be found in Salesforce. Let's start this course with a main place in Pardot app where all the magic begins. The first screen that you'll always see when you log in inside Salesforce and open your Pardot app will be your dashboard. So what can you actually expect to see there? Notifications. Every time Pardot will have an important announcement or an upcoming update, you will see displayed on the top of your dashboard when you log in. Typically, you'll be able to see and click on the notifications or for more details, click dismiss to permanently hide it from your dashboard. Dismissing a notification will only hide it from you. Other users in your account will still be able to see it. Additionally, each user, depending on their role, might see less or more notification. What each user sees is set up on their user role. You can review default and custom user roles by going to your Pardot settings, expanding user management tab, clicking on the roles tab, and by selecting role you wish to review. Further, click on admin and scroll down to the notifications banners to review and enable notifications for this role. Moving next, let's discuss reporting graphs. Prospects created. This is a number of new prospects created from the form, form handler, or a landing page conversions, or created via imports, including Pardot API. This includes both archived and unarchived prospects. Conversions. This number of previously anonymous individuals who submitted a form or a landing page to identify themselves as prospects. Bear in mind that prospects created stat will generally be higher number as it includes records pushed into Pardot from any source as opposed to those created from a form or a landing page. For example, those other sources can be if you create a record in Salesforce and then from Salesforce CRM, this prospect is pushed into Pardot. Opportunities created. This is a number of new opportunities created at a given date. Opportunity dates are pulled from your Salesforce CRM or created manually via Pardot API. All prospects is the accumulative number of prospects in your database, excluding those in your recycle bin. Each data point represents the total size of prospects in the database at each given point in time. Here on the top, you can view all your prospects by different days and times. And we can also create a custom range to see dashboard by the numbers that you are interested in to review. Marketing calendar. Now let's talk about marketing calendar. It will show you all your scheduled and past emails, social posts, events, and webinars. A slimmed down version of a calendar appears here for the marketing and administrator users in your dashboard. If you want to see more, you can click on view full calendar and this will show you a fuller view that is adjustable to show a day, week or a month. Here on the top, you can select these. Click on month, week and day. This allows you to page through dates you want to see. Hovering over an event will show you details about the item, tickets sold, webinar attendance, email click through rate, etc. and allow you to click into each report for item in the past and for the details for item in the future. The colors for each event represent a different activity so you can quickly at a glance in your calendar see and understand and get a sense of what's coming up. Green will be for emails, purple for webinars, pale pink eventbrite events and blue will be for social messages. You can also use Pardot Calendar to plan your marketing campaigns and activities. By clicking on Create New Event button, you can create a custom event. These, for example, can act as reminders for you or your team to pre-create posts or to post them manually on your social media platforms. Now let's together create an event. Type in your name using internally approved or with your marketing team agreed naming convention. You can tick all day or to choose only dates and ignore specific times. Next, 
Start time will be a mandatory if you choose to keep the time. You can also choose to add end time if you wish and also clear it if you make any mistake or change your mind. Next, you can add URL as a hint, source or location that can act as a helpful description. You can choose an icon to better illustrate your type of the event for you or your team. And finally, you can choose a color for each type of events you create. And when you're ready, just press save. You can then go to the event in your calendar and see if everything is as expected. The calendar is visible to marketing and administrator users by default. If your account level includes custom roles, you can create additional user roles with calendar access if you wish. The minimum requirement to be able to view calendar obviously depends on the user having calendar permission ticked and at least one of the following permissions ticked also. Both emails and email reports, view social posts, view webinars and view events. Because Without any of these permissions, the marketing calendar would be empty and therefore we would not display it for the user. Now let's go back to our dashboard and scroll down a bit. Here on the bottom, you can see active prospects for review. The dashboard will display up to five active prospects to review. Prospects that are neither assigned nor marked as reviewed and have been active. Click more prospects to see all active prospects for review. Note, this shows all prospects that have had at least one prospect activity and are not yet assigned or marked as reviewed, including those prospects that were imported. Identified companies. The dashboard also displays up to five of the most recent visitors whose companies could be identified. Click more visitors to see all identified companies. Best practices. Efficiency and effectiveness are two words that come to my mind when I think about Parda dashboard. Most of the times you'll actually pass the screen to just move to your email creation or social post scheduling. But if you're the one in the company that is actually responsible for overseeing prospect conversion, then the graph with new prospects can be something that very quickly gives you an identification of how your marketing efforts are actually doing. As well, what comes down to marketing calendar, unfortunately, there is no out of the box functionality that would actually integrate it with your Outlook or Salesforce calendar. This is actually purely for you and your marketing team but think of it from a perspective like it would be your actually marketing activity planner. And if you haven't got any, then this can be the one where you see all the marketing activities that are coming up in your business.